folks, Mr. Raven here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, last time we just did some small rockets. Just, you know, got, uh, got some air under our wings. Really slow, really taking it easy, you know. Let's try and do stuff a little faster. So, we got some science points we need to uh, use. Oh, well, we don't need to, but I kind of want to because we need new stuff to advance. So, that's just how things work. So, let's go into R&D. Uh, the first one we got. So, lucky us. Uh, the next one is basic rocketry. So, we get like the first um, liquid-fueled engine. We get a, um, a fuel uh, a, a big, a bigger booster, actually. Sorry, and a small, really small fuel tank. So let's research that. That's only five points. Got plenty of points. If if you look at this, it's cost like a thousand points. So it's it get it's gonna get harder and harder to to buy stuff. But yeah, anyways. Then we have Engineer One Hundred and One, that gives us some decouplers. Um, Oh, only, only, only need to, yeah, that's fine. Then we get a, a, a new uh, sinus experiments. That's a thermometer. Then we get some uh, uh, antennas. I don't know why it's here, if I'm honest. Yeah, well, well, you can send out research. You need an antenna to do that. So maybe that's why. Um, still got 56 points. Okay, the next trees are like 15 Oh, 15, 18, and 20. Ugh. So we can probably... We don't... Well, actually, we... I think we could... Almost... Afford it, actually. I think. Survivability. That's a little... Uh, heat sink. Heat sink is necessary if you have to go into outer space. It also have another experiment. The uh, barometer. Uh, then it has the uh, radial mounted uh, parachutes and it actually has a service bay, uh, radiator panels, ooh, and landing struts. That's more if you need to land somewhere. Don't think that's necessary. But let's buy that one. Um, this one is more stability. Oh, that one's actually good to have. Let's go with that too. And we can actually also take the basics. So we get another another fuel, uh, solid fuel booster. That's a big one. Uh, and then another liquid engine. And a, a bigger tank, which is fantastic. So, it, it's you can do what you want with these points. I kind of kind of normally, unless there's something I think I'm not going to mess with planes then i skip this one but otherwise i normally go all in one category before going on i am going to at some point to go specifically after magja which is uh, an and helping a mod a help mod that's a little more like a flight computer so you you kind of set some parameters uh, to go do something and then it does it for you but it's more it's more for I can't I can know how to do it by myself, but uh, I'm not as efficient, and it takes a little longer time. And I, you know, of course, if I didn't use Mate, yep, I would just get better to edit, and maybe I could do it faster. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's easier, and I feel like it's more like it actually are working. And I know the pilots are trained to do all the stuff that. The autopilot does just in case if the autopilot isn't functional but i think most of the time it's always always functioning so yeah anyways i hope uh you don't think i'm cheating i definitely don't feel like it's cheating but again we can all play a game as we want to play it <laughs> there's no wrong way to play a game if you ask me Okay, before we get rid of the flea, I was actually just thinking about doing a, a um, well, let's just, just keep calling it flea. So it's still 
one. So let's point two. Uh, because I just want to get some more signs on it and just do the signs that we have done. Um, but with the new new parts. So like a thermometer and then barometer. And I think the other things are not actually... I think it's places to store a solid state storage. To run at least... Three digital watches. <laughs> I think it's storage, all of it. Compu flat computer. Uh, actually, it's just... Oh, that's big. Let's just put it there. I'm curious what it is. Actually, not sure what it is. I think it's a part of the uh, Kerbal Engineer Redux thing. Um, but I can actually, I think... A lot of the things I, I'm I'm getting from, uh, it's been a while since I played Kerbal last. A lot of the things I used to get from um, from um, Mac, yeah, but it seems like it's been. I don't know if this is a part of the engineer thing or if it's a part of actually Kerbal. I think the actual Kerbal thing you have to hover your mouse over these. To see the stats. This is just an easier way to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, if you're playing this on uh, Korea, um, it's gets it it, it it does get a little more um, hard to do. You have to upgrade the buildings, and this building, the VIB, can only do like a I don't know, a 18 part rocket. Um, until you upgrade it and the launch path can only launch uh, rockets with X amount of weight and stuff like that. So it's kind of weird. Well, it's not weird. It's fair enough. But okay, this time I think I'm going to show uh, the difference between the pilot and the scientist. So if we take the scientist Bob with us out here. He can, we can actually reset the uh, science stuff that's, that's, uh, well, it needs to be reset. It's not a good ex example because right now it's, <laughs> there's not really any science left in all of the, uh, this, except the temperature, that's a new one. So let's take that and the press mat biometer, let's log. Oh, lock the thing. And let's take that. And then we can exit. And then we can do surface EVA. Doesn't give us anything. So let's just not do that. Then we can collect the data and restore the Q canister. So we actually can use it again later. So let's take the data. Oh, actually just store it. Bam. So let's, oh, I keep forgetting this. Put the motor down, put the motor down. And let's uh, tee it. And maybe we are gonna, gonna go out towards the water. Just a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna push the button. Then I'm gonna angle it a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm gonna hold it there. Just so we either land in the uh, sand area here, the shore, or actually land in the water, just to get a new biome to get some data from. So let's take uh, another goo. Uh, and the temperature. Oh, what did, I forgot to take that. Damn it. I forgot to take those two. Nope. Uh, not good. Hopefully, we're going to land in the water. Hopefully. Maybe. Actually, I don't know. Let's see. If we press M for map, we can actually scroll in and see. This is our trajectory. The AP is the uh, apoapsis, which is the highest point of our, our arc we just made. And now we're falling down and losing our... 
Oh, speed, actually. I think we're gonna land in the water. It seems like it. Uh, but it, per, it doesn't look like it from here. But the arc is getting smaller and smaller as our speed is decreasing. So I can't zoom anymore in. So yeah, we're not gonna land on the water. Let's deploy the parachute and let's see where we land. Okay. Didn't I reset this one? Oh yeah, I took a new one on the way up. That's right, I forgot. Let's see if we can land and keep it standing. Ooh, did it. Let's see here. Can actually uh, take data, restore, and then we can take the data, lock the temperature, take the data, lock the pressure, take the data, take the data, observe the goo, take the data, restore. It's a good thing when we get to orbit and we can actually, you know, dump most of the, the stuff out in, in orbit. Um, so we don't have to build our craft too big when we, um, when we have to go through the atmosphere. Bam. I don't know how much we're going to get, but we're definitely going to get some. So let's recover. And let's see if we can not build a vessel that brings us out into space, but maybe not into orbit. We got 18, 18.5. I think the next couple of, yeah, they, they're costing 45, all of them. So that's going to take a while to get there. If we ever get there. So. Oh, I forgot to check what that, that things does. Damn it. Anyways, let's get rid of that. We can still call it the flea if we want to. I think it's 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 fair enough to call it the flea. It's a cute name. Or, you know, beginner stuff. Then we could go like with the what something bigger and stuff that you have on you. Like, I don't know. Ringworm? <laughs> okay, it's not funny. Sorry. So 2.0. Uh, we, we, we can change the capsule if you want to, but it doesn't really matter right now. So. Do we expect to get through the atmosphere? I don't know. So, yeah, we probably not. Let's take the service bay. Mostly because it, it, it seems weird to stick stuff <laughs> to the side of the... Uh, to the side of the capsule it just seems weird so let's open the sur open open the service bay and then put stuff in there instead it seems more right 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 oh uh we can always you know um um we can always where's the button no yeah wait a minute i think it's that one uh weird so I have to eyeball it? I don't know. It's doing weird. I'm doing weird. What am I doing? I don't know. Should I know? Yeah, probably. Okay. Let's put the thermometer. Put that there. And then... Barometer. That there. I think that one is in sender. Turn to sender. Let's raise it up a little bit because I don't like it glitching through there. Right. Yeah, way better. And then we can put this on the roof. The roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. 
And then let's turn this around like that. And I, th oh, wait a minute. Not like that, like that. Yes. Because then we, I think we can reach it all from, um, if we're EVAing out. Should I bring more than just one of them? What if one of them broke? Actually, that's, sometimes you have to think redundancy. There isn't like system failure and stuff like that in the game. Um, you can do that as a mod, I think. I need to find the right one to rotate with. There it is. Let's put, oh crap. I can't. Why? Why game? What's happening here? Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, duplicate that one too. Not that many times. Oh. Okay, we can't duplicate this. Just have to uh, duplicate it like this. Can I reach it? I hope so. Maybe let it glitch a little bit. Uh, if you if you alt click a thing, then you're copying it. Then you can place it down like so. Uh, these are so light, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but I kind of offset this thing a little bit compared to the center. So I hope it seems bigger, like physically. I don't know if I read the stats, if it's actually lighter, but it should be okay balanced right now. I hope. <laughs> so if I close that, that's all I signed. Oh crap, it's still sticking through. Stupid game. And, and it really doesn't matter, but it kind of matters. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Notch, notch. Let's close that. Lamp. Flea Mark 2.0. Let's see here. What did we get? We get some... Some heat sink. A heat sink actually work. Oh, heat sheet. A heat shield. I'm sorry. It actually works like um, when you're coming through the atmosphere. Uh, the the atmosphere is moving so fast past our our shield that the friction makes it hot. So to ensure that the part we actually want to go through the atmosphere uh, comes. Uh, uh, down all the way um we kind of designed uh, a heat shield where there's a, a, a coating on that's called a blader and it, it's it's kind of when it gets too hard it breaks off and when it breaks off it takes the heat with it um but we're not really coming into the atmosphere i'm just designing this ahead a little bit because then we don't have to do it again and again and again redesigning the uh, upper part so right now I'm just going to put this at, at like, I don't know, 20 or something, just to give it a little bit. It should, it should be plenty. Uh, 200, we can probably come from one of the moon and go pretty steep into the atmosphere and still survive with that. But you can, you can kind of test it when you come back from space and see how much you used. And if you use like 40, then next time just alter it to 40 because it, it's, it's gonna weigh more. You can see the weight. Where's the weight? Uh, the mass. The mass is there. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty small. Do I have another one telling it? Yeah, yeah. 1.245 ton. 1.425 ton. So that's actually a lot, a lot heavier. It's almost 200 kilos. So let's keep that low. Then we need a decoupler. And actually, that can change the look too. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we got the first part. This is the part if we come out to space. Not in orbit, just out into space. This is the part we want to come back alive. That makes sense. So let's put a... Uh, let's put... Uh, I kind of want to put... And this is just me doing fun stuff here. I kind of want to put a couple of these aerobrakes uh, parachutes. 
because they open up for everything else. Now we have to be really aware of what we're doing here. Okay. Uh, these two needs to be on the other side. So when we the the, the the lower part of the rocket, we are decoupling that, so it's only this part left. The first thing I want to do is deploy the two parachutes, the smaller parachute that's kind of breaking the, taking some of the speed off, and then the parachute that actually, in quotes, saves us. I think this one is still big enough for what we have, I think. But time will tell. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's do the rocket. I'm thinking uh, taking just one of the fuel, uh, bigger fuel tank thingy, make it white. Then we're gonna take an engine. We got two different engines now. We got a uh, LV LV T30 and LV T45. The 45 has a little more uh, thrust in vacuum. But the most important thing, the difference between these two are, if you click on this one, I think the one, um, oh, wait a minute. I think it's this one. Yes, this one has uh, a gimbal engine. So the engine can uh, turn a little bit uh, to all the sides, all the sides, um, but only 3%. So if you're imagining, uh, it's kind of hard to explain what gimbling is, but it, it's kind of like if you, if you're, if you see the, the, the rocket as a pencil that you're balancing on your finger, you can hold the, the pencil by, you know, making small movements with your finger. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, but that's kind of what the engine are doing. The engine gimbal, gimbling is kind of like your finger moving, and and by the finger moving a little bit to all directions when needed, it kind of keeps the rocket pointing the way you want to go. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Otherwise, you can call it the gimbling. The engine has steering. If it has don't have gimbal the engine don't have steering and then if you don't have a reaction wheel as the capsule has uh, the capsule has a reaction wheel I can yeah there reaction wheel which which helps the capsule turn um, and it can turn without any engines um, so if this this one was set to zero and the gimbal was also yeah, or, wasn't there or was turned off and you couldn't actually move your rocket so yeah in in really layman's terms the gimbal is the ability to move but it's only three degrees it's only three degrees off to the sides but that engine is also a little more expensive it's about uh, 100 credits more expensive it's a little less um efficient uh, you get a little less delta v out of the engine so i'm actually gonna take the one that has a little more power and don't have the gimbling because i i am counting on that the reaction wheel on the part is strong enough to actually control the the, the spacecraft when we get high enough so i'm i'm copying this part but only using the coupler so right now we need to be aware of what's happening here again with the thing I'm above because right now we're actually decoupling the engine starting the engine before it's got decoupled so we need to push plus here and put it down here so decouple engine start getting rid of the engine and the tank going down through the atmosphere doing the parachute that slows down and the parachute that's saving us hope it makes sense okay i'm i'm going to be 
explaining less and less as we go on. But right now, I, I feel like there's a lot of stuff to explain. Okay, we got three different sizes of... Of... Um, <laughs> of solid motors now. Um... I don't know if you should, should go with the big one. I actually think with the big one, we're probably going to hit space easy. That's my thought anyway. Um, so maybe we should just skip the hammer. I don't see the reason why we need the hammer. And the flea. Yeah, well, that's, that's the flea. So let's put that on. Now, look at this. That's actually going to look like... A little more like a rocket than we've been used to. But we definitely need to do something about this. We have a term over here that's called TWVR. And that's thrust to weight ratio. So that's how much, how much energy we have per, per weight. Uh, we have a factor right now that's uh, at... Uh, sea level is 2.22. It's kind of hard to explain, but if this factor was 1, then the thrust and the weight uh, compared to the gravity of the Earth would do that the uh, rocket would just fire the engine without taking off. To be able to take off, it needs to be higher than 1. Because it has to overcome gravity so 2.22 that means this one is going to fly off the pad really fast so i'm gonna make it slow down a little bit look at number i feel like a good number uh for a rocket is 1.6 so 60 percent more thrust to weight ratio uh compared to um to sea level it should be fine so let's keep it at that then i think it's a good idea to get some fins to kind of make it a little easier to control and i'm actually going with four this time let's see if i can find a good spot let's go almost down to the end and then to make it a little more rockier do i have that no, I don't have that yet. Never mind then. Hopefully it's not gonna tip over. Let's save. Let's check it's uh it's Bob on the pin, it is. He's not a pilot, but yeah, I hope it's going to be fine. Otherwise we just have to try again. Let's again get rid of that stuff in here. Don't need it. Just means we hopefully we're not gonna let go of the uh thing maybe 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 actually <laughs> maybe we should take the eva <laughs> just just to be sure <laughs> i don't know if we actually get into space but i feel like we should be able to get into space with we got uh, 2474 um in total delta v so we should be able to get out into space we don't have enough to get into orbit i think if i remember correctly so let's save and put this thing into the launch pad. And let's do this flight. Hopefully we're going to survive. Uh, everything is fine. Uh, again, this is a solid, so we don't really have to adjust the, uh, the uh, you know, the throttle down here. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed you this last time. I don't think we did. We do have, actually have a uh, a crew crew view. You push V. Okay. Let's see here. Are we ready? Let's push the uh, T button, and let's uh, let's launch slowly off the bat, but path, but with a decent amount of, of, of thrust so so it's it's fine it's good 
So let's tilt a little bit towards the east. I don't feel like it's doing anything. I don't think we have a lot of uh, authority. <laughs> Not at all. How about... How about taking prograde? Okay. We don't have any authority here. We can't control anything. That's kind of the thing. The reaction wheel up here is not strong enough to actually tip over the whole rocket. Um, maybe if we could throttle down, we could have done something. Let's see here. Now we don't have any throttle on it. We have actually... Oh, maybe I should get a... We need an orbit and a surface info. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see here. Our apoapsis is the highest point, and that's 52 uh, kilometers. And now we're out far enough that we actually have a little bit of movement. So let's, let's kind of point that direction and start the other engine, and then throttle up. And see if we can't go a little more. Uh, seven, 70 kilometer is the is the spot we need. So we actually we are going into space now. We're actually going into space now. Let's press the M button. See how how big our car, our arc this this is this time around. It's it's way bigger than than it was last time. So let's open up this one let's start doing some science lock uh, lock and lock that's before space and let's quickly do a crew report and take that we are almost in space now so we can go outside let's turn on the lights And when the music starts, and that iconic music, you know you're in space. So let's take an EVA. And then pick up all of these. Take data. Collect data. Take data. Lock data. How far up do we need to go? 75. We are about to go down now. Lock the temperature, lock the pressure, restore, observe the goo, take the goo, and restore, take the data, I think that's pretty much all, take data, port, crew report, EVA, and take take the data, store the data. Got uh good. <laughs> okay, um, let's see if we can survive this. Let's go retrograde. Gonna point the uh, the heat shield uh, towards the Earth, and then get rid of that. I don't know, maybe I should turn the maybe I should remove one of the one of the apps. It's kinda confusing with all the the apps going here. Yeah, now we just have to wait and see if we can survive. Let's see if we can do some more science on the way down. You can see now the ablator is actually um wearing off a little bit here. I think you can see it disappear maybe here, here, a blader. And we lost uh, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. So we're not really, we're not doing that far. Uh, we're not, we're not, our speed is not that great. What is our speed? I think we can see our speed somewhere. Oh, there. God damn it. <laughs> we're really slowing down now, fast. So let's uh, deploy the uh, first two. 
parachute that's gonna take some of our speed off and took us down to 28 meters per second it's we're still gonna land too hard uh, if we don't deploy the other one then we're down to 6.1 should be slow enough to survive exact especially now that we are landing in the water it shouldn't be a problem uh, what I'm doing is actually I'm, I'm, I'm I'm speeding up the game we have we have um, we have the option to speed up the game a little bit and boop. this is perfect let's see hope hopefully we don't sink when I open this kind of want to do some more um, science now we're in a new biome mm, just so we are Gonna take it all. Ooh, it's tilting. Ooh, ooh. Hold on, Bob. <laughs> Store. Oh, why is it doing that? Is the uh, is the wave doing it? I think it's the wave. Uh, let's do an EVA, and then I don't know how we take it to surface sample. Uh, well, it's well, water is also a surface, so that makes sense. Ord and let's um, prove report here and then we can recover the vessel. Let's see how many points we got on that one. It's thinking, thinking. 111.7 science point. That's not bad. That's what I'm talking about. Now we can do some stuff here. Perfect. I think that's going to be a video. <laughs> because uh, we're already way longer than I thought. But I really hope you enjoy uh, the video. I definitely do enjoy making them. If you do enjoy them, please show your support by leaving a thumbs up. If you are having any advice or maybe you just want to say something funny please do so down in the comment section below if you're new here please consider subscribing and the last thing i want to do is just wish you all a great day have fun gaming